Hey y'all, Wes here. I've been working on a proof of concept to combine Blazor and HTMX, and I've pretty much got it complete, and I wanted to show it to you guys. So this is the new proof of concept for Spark.net. This will be the default template. And let's hop over to the code. So the only thing different than a regular Blazor SSR app is this uses HTMX instead of the normal blazor.web.js. So the normal blazor.web.js adds enhanced navigation and form handling, which is really nice. But HTMX does the same thing, but also adds quite a few more features uh, that we'll kind of go through in this demonstration. So the first thing I want to show you is the form handling. So here's an edit profile page. You can edit your name or you can update your password. Now normally in a regular Blazor app using the, the enhanced form handling, you would have you know your edit Blazor component here and then you'd have two forms and you'd have to supply names for those. Uh, but using HTMX I've went ahead and I've split them up into two different components. So I have an update profile form and an update password form. And these are your standard edit forms, but I'm adding HTMX directives to it. And I also give it its own uh, URL on the app page directive. So now this component can be called through an HTTPS request. So on the initial profile edit load, all it's doing is rendering the forms. It has nothing to do with the actual URLs. But when the form submitted, it can call itself. And this is nice because, one, you keep your page scroll because the only thing being replaced is the form on the page. And two, all your validation messages will show up. So if I come back to uh, the browser and I hit save, I get immediate feedback that all these are required. Now this is actually doing a trip to the server to do the validation. And we're just getting back the HTML as a response. And then HTMX does everything else from there as far as updating the DOM. Uh, so we can go ahead and fill this in. Now I'm putting in a pass, my current password is incorrect here. So if I hit save, immediate feedback again that the current password is incorrect. And then uh, if we, actually put in the correct password. Hopefully that's the right one. And hit save. Okay, yep, that was the correct one. So our initial response passes the form values. Uh, then in our password form, on valid submit <clears throat> handler is called, which is the on submit function here. We take care of all the password updating. And then finally, we do. I added an extension method called xnavigate2 on the navigation manager. This is similar to the regular navigate2, except this one simply appends a header. Now, HTMX allows you to append headers to tell HTMX to do certain things. The HX location header accepts a URL. And then on the client side, HTMX will do a location update. Uh, but without reloading the page. So if you come back here, you'll see in our headers, in the response, we have an X, XH location of profile edit. And then you'll see down here, we have another network request where HTMX says, oh, we need to change the location to profile slash edit. So the page is essentially reloaded. And I mean, we're basically doing, you know, a, a, a standard uh, form post redirect here but there is no page reload and ideally i'll probably add in the future some sort of uh like pop up here saying your password was updated so the user can get some feedback uh, the the form up here works the exact same way if i d remove this the name field is required we're keeping our page page position it's not moving uh, and then if we put in an actual name here you'll see everything's updated even our nav is updated here and that's because we're posting the form. Our headers, our response headers say we need to change the location to profile slash edit. So HTMX does 
uh, a second request requ requesting the page and a standard get request which refreshes all the uh, markup including this nav so that's why we're getting uh, this great feedback and the entire UI is being refreshed with that new name now the second thing I want to show you is on our home page I have this random number generator and you'll see here it's getting updated about every two or I, I think it's every two seconds if we go to our network tab you'll see here we have all these uh, get requests that are just being sent every second and we're getting a response so how this is working is I have a component over here called random number with an app page directive setting the URL to components slash random number and then we're using some HTMX directives to say every two seconds submit a get request to this URL so it's submitting to itself and then our blazer component on initialization is updating that random number setting it in the markup and returning it back to the client and then HTMX updates the client Dom again so it's really nice because you can have components contained to themselves where you call them the client sends a get request to to a single component that component updates itself sends back the updated markup and then HTMX handles updating the Dom from that so everything's nice and contained this is uh, this is something I've been working on for a while and uh, it's really nice how agnostic HTMX is to where you can plug and play in different frameworks and it really fits seamlessly into Blazor and adds a bunch of extra features that you wouldn't get with normal Blazor SSR. But again, this is all just server side technology. So you're keeping your your SEO, you're not losing that because you're using, you know, WASM. You're not having dependency on WebSockets. Uh, but you still get this rich interactivity on all your pages. That's it. Thanks for watching.